what's going on everyone and you know guess what the navy is about to give us i know what you're thinking reenlistment bonus you know srb which is reenlistment bonus better duty stations more order selections how about new ships let's talk about it All right, everybody, welcome back yet again to why I joined. Got my notes here, like I always do. Always have your notes. Always have your notes and talking points. But I already did a video on that. But the Navy, this came out the 3rd of December. So who knows, things might have changed since then compared to the day that I'm going to update it, which is the day of. So it's Saturday, so yay to the Saturday. But moving on. The Navy has signed a contract in which we will get new missile guided frigates. It will be a Constellation class frigate. So yay to that. New ships. The latest and greatest, if I'm not mistaken, was the LCSs, LHAs, and then you had the CUAS, which is almost like a drone in a sense. But you know, you can't fit hundreds of people on a CUAS, so I'll just leave it at that. But the ship will be named, drum roll. The USS Congress. So the very first new frigate will be called the USS Congress based off of the original ships back then with George Washington, the six of them, but we'll go into what those six were later. It was named by the SECNAV. And fun fact, SECNAVs normally name ships under, or there could be a special circumstance in which it changes differently. But in this case, SECNAV Kenneth Brathwaite I believe that's how you say his last name. If not, then I apologize. But he had this to say. I'd like to take this moment to announce that the new Constellation class frigate will be named USS Congress. To honor and recognize the work that you and your staff do every day to support our sailors, Marines, and the people of the United States of America. Isn't that nice of him to say? Isn't that nice? And another thing, in regards to naming conventions, there'll be two other vessels named as well, too. So, from this insert, frigates aren't the only Navy vessels given traditional names under SECNAV's leadership. Last month, he announced, last month will be November, last month he announced that a pair of Virginia attack submarines will be named for the two World War II era boats, the Tang and the Wahoo. Tang, like the powder drink Tang, T-A-N-G, and Wahoo, W-A-H-O-O. -O. Not what Mario says, not what Mario says. But in that, I figured, hey, what are some good, cool facts about Congress? You know, since it was a ship back then, they're naming it something new. Now it's not, it's not, you know, something old. You know, it's a Navy will name a ship something, something different, or give it the same name, in a sense. But the Congress, back then, captured four enemy ships during the War of 1812. It served in the Gulf of Mexico and the South Atlantic and was the first Navy ship to visit to China. First Navy ship to visit to China. So that's a pretty much of a fun fact. And as I was saying, the six original frigates. So you have the Constellation, Congress, President, Chesapeake, United States, and Constitution. Or one thing that you can do to help remember that, because you know the Navy always uses, you know, abbreviation to help you remember, four cup, four C U P, four C's, Constellation, Congress, Chesapeake, Constitution, your four C, the U, United States, and P, President, four cup. Literally just came up with that when I was writing down my notes so i thought that was pretty cool and, and if you didn't even hear about the new frigates well you're in for a treat so it happened on the 30th of april let me get up to my page right here it happened on the 30th of april 2020 in which the navy signed a contract for new guided missile frigates so if you're one of those old frigate sailors salty frigate sailors in which you feel as if you got the most premium sea legs there are who needs leg day when you've been on a frigate, right? Right? Okay, I'll stop, I'll stop. 
but yes they and this company i have not heard of this company before but then again it's not about me anyway on what ship i've been on but it is the Fincantieri Marinette Marine. They won the contract to design and build the first of the new frigates. The contract also includes plans up to nine more ships from them. A deal that's ultimately worth more than $5.5 billion, US dollars, might I add. And some of the feedback that was added on here was the new frigate is an important part of the Navy's plan to modernize more for distributed operations. Positioning the U.S. to defend against near peer adversaries like Xbox players. We, mm, I'm joking, I'm joking. Near peer adversaries such as China and Russia. Leaders say it will improve the service's ability to fight on both the high seas and near the shore with more capabilities than LCS's littoral combat ships, but a smaller price tag than cruisers and destroyers. So it's almost like we got cruisers, destroyers, maybe the new frigates and LCSs. I'm not a money man. And I'm, I'm only so good with my hands, with my Ricky Bobby stance. But that's, that's where we stand on that. And a fun fact about this company, they beat out like the other shipbuilders. So you would think, oh, well, you know, they would give it to, almost said Bath and Body Works, but they beat out like everybody else, which I thought, how is that possible? They're pretty legit, the ones that build all the other ships as well. But a fun fact for you, let me go ahead and get bring this up for you. The Navy plans to eventually buy 20 of the new frigates and they said that they expect the delivery of the first ship in 2026 and they won't be full operational capable I'll just say FMC fully mission capable until 2032 so whether you're in the Navy right now you might even be retired by then or you might even watch this video and watch it back and be like hmm they, ha they have started talking about it or you might be on one right now in the future who knows but that's where they are at on that and they beat out three competitors three general dynamics bath iron works i don't know why but sometimes i always say bath and body works shame on me so they beat out general Dy dynamics bath iron works austral usa and huntington ingles industries and based off of the Fincantieri, its design is already used in Italian and French navies. So just think about that, how the design is going to look like. And FREM, F-R-E-M-M -M in Italian, stands for European Multi-Purpose Frigate. And that, that about wraps it up. And yeah, just a fun fact. One of those, oh, by the way, so whenever they say, hey, the USS Congress is having this commission, a ceremony in wherever, you're like, how come I did not hear about this? How did I not know? Well, now you know. But with that being said, that's about it. So, so just summarizing, new frigates, the first name is gonna be the Congress. We went over the original six and four cup and how it's gonna look later on in the future. And I know back then frigates were all male for enlisted and with the exception of having female officers on there, I'm pretty, well, I can't say I'm pretty sure. Who knows, it might be an integrated new frigate in which it will be for both male and female. Who knows, that'd be a question to ask whenever there is like a big meeting with like big navy or whatever the case may be. But if you didn't know, now you know. But with that being said, thank you and have a great day.